At UNESCO we are proud uh, to manage and to promote programs based on sites and people. These are the Biosphere Reserve, the Global Geoparks, as well as World Heritage Sites. These sites are promoting uh, conservation and sustainable development. And today we are proud to bring all this together and offering a new door for anyone that may be interested to learn a little bit more, to visit and to follow not only the work that we do here at UNESCO, but especially that communities, managers, scientists, governments at local and national level are doing in the ground. We have been intensively working with our colleagues from the culture sector and the natural sciences sector in the development of the UNESCO Sites Navigator, which is uh, the first uh, GIS, that is Geographic Information System, for UNESCO designated sites. In particular, World Heritage, Biosphere Reserves and UNESCO Geoparks. What we are trying to do via this platform, which builds on past, uh, let's say, efforts in this sense, is to monitor closely by using uh, satellite data, near real-time satellite data, uh, the state of conservation of uh, our shared heritage and beyond. To have, for example, a system of alerts in order to know when a potentially hazardous event takes place within a UNESCO designated site. Also to understand the overlaps between different protected areas. So with this we're having, let's say, eyes on the sky in order to better understand what's uh, occurring in our World Heritage Sites. That will allow anyone to learn about these wonderful sites that uh, are the home of more than 300 million people around the world that cover the most important biodiversity but also cultural and geodiversity elements. Please use this platform to understand, to learn, but especially to participate.